Hey everybody, Keith Angle for TGI Sports Talk with my weekly vlog. How are you all doing today? Uh, guys, I won't take up much of your time. I know I say that every Friday at this time and or whenever you watch this, I won't hopefully be taking up much of your time. Listen, I want to talk a little bit about the Knicks. I had a couple of choices of vlogs. I almost uh, switched to the college football playoff, but I don't have enough details yet. Uh, that's to come. Today, we're going to talk the Donovan Mitchell trade on the Knicks. Uh, the fact that he is now a Cleveland Cav Cavalier uh, and not a New York Knicks is not a good thing for the Knicks or Leon Mitch or uh, Leon Rose. Listen, I don't care whether you think uh, Donovan Mitchell was a good fit, bad fit for the for the Knicks. Um, I think he would have been a very good fit. Um, are there flaws to the plan of bringing him in here? Yes, but to me, as I said in a previous vlog the importance of Leon Rose showing that he could make a trade like this, not only to legitimize himself in the eyes of other general managers in the league and, and, and going forward and also be able to attract better players here in free agency. The Knicks haven't been able to bring in a, a, a player of the, of the caliber of Donovan Mitchell in a decade or better. Uh, Carmelo Anthony was the last guy they could bring in here in these circumstances, which has led to them not being able to attract uh, key free agents. You know, guys like like LeBron, who always want to use the Knicks for leverage, they never have any real chance of getting them here. And that's a problem. I mean, who's who's named the last uh, uh, key free agent that signed with the Knicks? You, you can go back to them. You can, <laughs> Brunson's a nice, a nice pickup. But he's not a level. He's not LeBron, right? He's not Kevin Durant. He's not James Harden. They've got to show that they can get this done, and they can't. They brought in Amari Stoudemire back in the uh, you know mid to, mid two thousand tens. But, and that was a nice signing for a couple of years, but he, again, wasn't top level. He, they were settling for Amari Stoudemire when they couldn't get LeBron and they couldn't get other key guys. So, again, the Knicks are – it doesn't matter to me the particulars necessarily. It, it matters to me that they're unable to pull the, the trigger on this. And this this is a Leon Rose issue, but this is also a near Nick issue. Again, they can't make these types of trades. I know the Jazz were holding them over the – the barrel. They likely were holding out for R.J. Barrett, and I probably would have held line there myself. And if you don't think they wanted Barrett, I think it's pretty obvious to me, at least, that they did want Barrett because as soon as he signed his four-year extension for $120 million with the Knicks, the trade got made with Cleveland, I think, the next day or the day after that. I might have held the line there. But if, if they wanted three unprotected draft choices, then I would have given them to them. The Knicks made all these moves for all these first round draft picks and they come away with nothing so far. Nothing. What was the point of making these trades? To me, uh, draft picks are, you know, like playing a lottery. You don't know, and pardon the pun, uh, you don't know what you're going to get. You have an established star in Donovan Mitchell, a guy who can get the ball to the basket in the basket, something the Knicks would have would have done very well with. Would there have been some flaws on the defensive end of this team with this team? Yes. But this wouldn't have been about winning now. This would have been about, about winning two or three years from now when you could attract key free agents because you had a Barrett, you had a Mitchell, you had a Brunson. And guys who became free agents would say, that's a team I want to play for. They got a great nucleus of guys that are under, these guys are, are all under 25 years old. But we can't get it done. Leon Rose can't get it done again. Everything he does is on the bargain basement, it seems. Love Brunson, but is Brunson a, a key player that's going to turn his player, this team around all by himself? No. As this team is, is, is currently uh, constituted, it's not going to be a good season, guys. So the guys you wanted to hold on to quickly, Toppin, you cannot tell me that he couldn't. And, and Rose has got to be able to out-negotiate Danny Ainger, who's one of the best. 
but you've got to show that you can you can pull off a trade like this with a guy like Danny Ainge and get the job done. He had all kinds of ammunition that Danny Ainge would have uh, eaten up. You had all those draft picks. You had Toppin. You had Quickly. I might even have given up Grimes, who I love. I'm not giving up R.J. Barrett. Again, I said before, I hold the line at R.J. Barrett. But once again, the Knicks show and Leon Rose show, they cannot make the big deal. He can't find a way to get it done. And again, to me, don't tell me we didn't want Donovan Mitchell anyway. This isn't to me about Donovan Mitchell and whether you think he would have been a, uh, you know, made the Knicks a better team now or in the future. It's not necessarily about your or my opinion about that. It's more about the fact that Leon Rose can't get this done. He wanted Donovan Mitchell. He made it clear he thought he was that kind of player. But what did he do? Did he take the extra, go the extra mile to get this job, this this uh, this trade done? No. Could he have? Could he have topped the Cleveland trade? I do think he could have. Could he have done it without R.J. Barrett? I'm not sure. But he needs to be able to out maneuver Danny Ainge in this in this uh, uh, situation if he wants to be known around the league as a guy who can get it done. Not just within his team and his fan base, but with other executives around the league. It's so frustrating to watch these things happen uh, regime after regime after regime. We constantly bring in second-rate players here. We won't trade our draft picks. What are we going to hoard them for so that we can draft more guys from France? Guys that never pan out. The Knicks history with first-round draft picks in the last 40 years is not very good, guys. Go back and look. Patrick Ewing notwithstanding. There have been a few hits. There have been so many misses. Let's, let's just call it 20 years. What are those draft picks really worth? They're a flip of a coin, man. But when you and when you get a, a guy that you know that is a NBA star, a top fifteen player right now in my mind, top twenty at least, you can't go out and get that guy or any guy of his caliber. Again, this isn't necessarily about Donovan Mitchell. This is about the inability to bring in a guy like Donovan Mitchell. Year after year after year, ten years since they brought in a a player of his caliber which affects everything going forward. When you can't, when you show you can't either won't or can't make these types of trades and other players don't want to come play here because they're not, they're not confident. You're going to do what it ne you needs to be done to build a winner. And that's why you end up with second tier free agents. Nice players. I'm sure Brunson's going to be a nice player and he's going to help this team. But how much is he going to help this team that's as presently constituted? If 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 Leon Rose can't go out and make another deal, and I don't know where the other deal is, it's not for anybody of any uh, uh, consequence in my mind. So what do you do, Knicks fans? Just suck it up, continue more of the same, wait for the next regime to come in. Because guess what, this this team fails next year and goes 40 and 42 or, and misses the playoffs or even, you know, loses in the play in tournament. We're going to be starting all over again with a new coach and a new general manager. Cause Rose, he was well, president, he, the guy running the organization. So don't nitpick with me, please. Um, they'll be starting over and we'll be looking at another five year plan. That'll never come to fruition. So what did we do? Just continue. We'd suck it up as Nick fans. 1973 is going to be 50 years in the past next year. Next spring, 50 years is the mix of one championship. Very sad, guys. Very, very sad. Keith Angle, PGI Sports Talk. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know. Have a great, great Labor Day weekend.